Hey everybody, welcome back to h &S Collectibles. This is Cody. Um, so, if you watched my haul video Sunday, uh, you'll know that I got three new albums from uh, Waxworks Records in um, last week. So, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show all three here. Uh, just make it a triple header and get it out of the way. Um, you know, rather than splitting it up into three different videos. Uh, but we'll start off with... Um, Sorry, bumped the microphone. <laughs> uh, phenomena. Uh, so this is Waxwork uh, 055. Uh, the Goblin score to uh, uh, the movie Phenomena. Um, which I think when I rented this movie. Uh, if I remember right, it was called Creepers. Um, and I have not seen it in quite a while. Uh don't I don't think I have it so I'm going to have to to get it because it's been a while but um, I saw that they had this on their website looked up the soundtrack on YouTube to kind of refresh myself with it uh, and really enjoyed it so it's a good I like most of what Goblin does so I thought it'd be a good one but um, and this cover is just really see all the glare this cover is like slick and way glossier than than most of my other uh, waxwork uh, records so you know got her hand there with the kind of firefly over it um, you know, track listings on the back a butterfly a grasshopper uh, and then the inside cover art you can kind of see her walking on the kind of the clearing back there and the bugs in the foreground um, I always like this movie um, like I said, I know some people kind of, uh, uh, you know, may not care for it. Uh, there's her in front of the house with uh, uh, everything flying uh, in front of her. Just a little insert that they put in there. Uh, and now for the records themselves. So it's kind of funny. <laughs> this this hit me like Jaws did. Um, they're 45 RPM records. You know, whenever I throw a 12 inch on, I don't even ever really look to check the speed. And I played it at 33 for a while until I noticed, yeah, this is not right. So, um, yeah, made that change and it sounded better. Uh, Waxworks also sent along these nice inner sleeves. I guess now they're going to start shipping all their albums with those fancier inner sleeves, uh, which is a nice upgrade. Um, but uh, album one, I think this is album one. No, this is actually album two I grabbed first. Is this uh, uh, orange kind of uh, uh, burst. Got some green in it. Pretty cool looking. The sticker on the back is from that uh, inside cover art. The gatefold cover art. Um, so like I said in the haul video, this is two albums. Uh, two albums worth of uh, music, but about half of one of the albums is kind of different versions of other tracks um, on the album. And then this one is a very cool, um, it's kind of green and gold and blue, um, kind of starburst pattern. really like that one. And a lot darker on the back. I think I like the front better with the more blue um but yeah very cool and sounds good plays good um i never really have any complaints from waxworks on uh on how the album sound uh so we'll jump into the second one uh phase four if you've seen phase four you know it's the movie about the uh kind of hyper intelligent ant colony uh out in the desert that the scientists are studying and then eventually try to stop and destroy and you just kind of have to watch the movie I never saw this movie though I had heard of it for years I remember seeing it on the shelf back at the VHS store years ago um, but never did rent it and I watched it for the first time streaming just over a year ago you know somewhere right around the start of the pandemic I was up late because uh, you know we started staying home sleep was all screwed up and I think I watched it really late night on Amazon Prime 
one night but the the bifold art is uh, the ants kind of crawling around within the equipment racks um, that's kind of cool and uh, the back got just a big ant face on the back and there's four tracks two albums um, basically or I'm sorry one album for this one with two tracks on each side uh, very long tracks but uh, they're just phase one two three and four and the vinyl itself is a yellow no swirl or anything like that just a solid color uh, yellow and uh, let's see the picture on the back there guy in the desert um, I streamed it uh, do not own it got the blu-ray sitting in my cart on Amazon need to pull the trigger on it at some point I really like this movie I like bug movies um, if, if bugs I guess can be a subgenre of sci-fi or horror I, I like movies that involve bugs insects uh, and this one in particular I like the uh, camera work down inside the ant colony um, really cool and this one comes with uh, uh, this booklet about a 10 or 12 page booklet um, just write-ups on the movie some of the uh, concepts for poster art uh, some different oh, I suck at holding these things up especially since they're so dang big um, you know some different shots from the movie there's a, a kind of a bigger version of that artwork that was on the back of the album uh, so yeah, very cool movie. Highly recommend it. Check it out. And the third one, um, Color Out of Space. Uh, this movie, I didn't know if I would like it or not, which I think is pretty much everybody's attitude anymore for a new Nicolas Cage movie. <laughs> and I love Cage. Um, but, uh, yeah, some of those movies, what can we say? Uh, back cover art big swirling tornado thing there kind of wild lot of things going on on the front this is another movie that you know i watched it i was not really expecting it to be as good as it was and i just i loved it and uh some really creepy moments in it for sure uh this is the uh inner sleeve um there's the house just kind of being overtaken by the color and uh, this on the back is just kind of, I don't know, an, an assembly of organisms coming together. Uh, if that's what that's supposed to be. It looks organic. Kind of squiddy tentacle or maybe even looks like some kind of tower. I don't know if I remember that part in the movie or not or any kind of reference to you know a home planet. Uh, no track listings on the labels on this one. Just pictures of the color and uh, this kind of uh, swirl almost strawberry uh, it puts me in this puts me in the mind of like uh, uh, some of the strawberry mint candies that you see um, or little strawberry lozenges uh, but uh, really like this one uh, like I said in the hall this is a good one to uh, just sit and play in the dark even uh, very very moody um very cool music so glad i picked it up first person i saw pick this one up was actually dave over at dave tour and uh when he showed it i thought yeah i need that i'm gonna i'm gonna eventually have to pick that one up and i finally did so that's it that's your uh, colored vinyl triple header um no other colored vinyls in the pipeline except the godzilla set i keep griping that i want that godzilla set um, I would have to already imagine and guess that's going to be my release of the year once it gets here, if it is as cool as the photos show it to be. Um, but yeah, that's enough, enough rambling from me. Everybody like and subscribe if you haven't. Stay safe, take care of each other, and I will talk to you later. Thanks.